What's up, y'all? Y'all know it's your boy JP, the install guy, here to make your install life a tad bit easier. We have a 2008 Ford F350, and I'm going to show you how to take some wires and run them inside the cab through the firewall. If these are the type of videos that you're into, then please consider subscribing because these are the things that we do. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That's what this channel is about. I started doing these videos because oftentimes I do run a lot of sub and amps, but if I'm not doing a sub and amp, sometimes I'm running light bar wires or uh, trying to hook up a hood pin tilt switches for the remote stars, try to install some siren wires for an alarm, or uh, I'm actually doing a front camera on this one. This is the front camera on this Ford F-350. I have that wire ran up under there coming up right here behind the light and I have to get it to the inside so I'm like I always have to end up finding a way to get these wires inside the cab so let me start this series to help you guys out so without further ado small introduction let's go ahead and get to it so there's a couple different ways that we can get some wires into the uh firewall if you look at the engine all this stuff is very very congested there's a lot of stuff all over the place not many places to where you think you'll be able to see but right behind here it's going to be kind of hard but uh down there see if this thing will focus that's where our rubber grommet is at and it'll be easier if we actually look at it on the inside so looking at it from the inside, you can see the rubber grommet. You can tell that this is the main loom of wires right here, and this is where they're coming in at, and I can pinch this part right here, which makes me think that I can make a small little cut. You gotta be careful when you're doing this because you don't wanna cut any of these wires, but I feel like I can make a small cut right here and take my little fish tool and kind of poke it from the inside going out and then I could just catch my wire from the outer side. But I did notice that there was some little silver stuff on the front side. So if I move this, you see that we have this big old hole right here. So what I did real quick is I just took my knuckle and tried to make a little small indention right there. And we're gonna see if we can see that same indention on the other side of the engine. So if you can see right there, it does look like it's bulged out a little bit. That might be some type of detonator of some sort. So I might be able to poke a hole through there. But before I do that, I want to show y'all one more way that we can get some wires inside the car. So on a lot of your Fords and uh, I mean a lot of your trucks in general, you usually have a grommet that lets you get on the inside of the cabin, like up under the carpet. So this right here is where our... Uh, step rail is this is right up on the driver's side and it looks like we have well that goes into the frame that's not going to be one but looks like we have one grommet right here and we have a bigger grommet right there so in order to do that what probably be best is that you take your wire and kind of run it straight down through the back side of this uh, fender if you can. There should be some wires that's coming down and then you have some holes in the frame that you can possibly zip tie to. And then once you do that, you can come down here, you can zip tie to these holes if you wish, and then we can actually pop this little deal out or push it in. And that right there is the carpet. And what you can do is you can actually cut a hole in here, depending on how uh, big of wire that you're actually trying to get inside or how many wires you're trying to get inside. Or since we know that this goes to the carpet, if you don't want to use this, you can get you some snap bushings and make you a hole, pop a hole somewhere, make them custom size for whatever you want to do. I don't know if I want to actually use this grommet because even though I do have a lot of wire, I don't really feel like running it underneath the car if I don't have to. Now, since we know we actually have some space, what we could do is drill another hole right here if we want to, but the holes are already made, so I'm just going to take my little box cutter and make me a little slit right here. So now that we have our hole, take our wire pulling tool and just stick it up there and see where it comes out in the engine. All right, as you can see, we have our wire coming in like that. Coming straight out, we have this taped in on the other side. Now let's go ahead and push it down and then pull it from the inside. All 
All right, so you can see we have it going through that little detonator thing right there. Now I am going to seal it from the inside though. So we got our split loom going in, everything looks factory, looks really nice and neat. And we're gonna seal it using some strip caulk on the inside, just in case if it rains, you don't have to worry about any water getting in or there's any fumes coming from this engine, it won't get inside the cabin like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna finish spreading this out just so we can seal it on the inside, but that's our wire coming in. Put that like that zip tie this along your factory wiring and then run it wherever you need to run it so i hope you guys found some type of value in this video if you did please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to i will put some product links in the description for you guys about the things that i'm actually putting in like the front camera that i'm using the split loom and all that type of stuff but i want to take this time to give a quick shout out to all the patreons you guys go the extra mile in supporting the channel so i make sure i go the extra mile in supporting you guys with like factory wiring colors behind the scenes footage you know stuff that i don't necessarily show on youtube and that's the platform that i'm using to give all my one-on-one -on -one kind of personalized coaches teachings and trainings and stuff like that so this video still brought you some type of value hit that like button subscribe share comment if you want to if you don't want to be held down to nothing long term as far as being a patreon but this video still brought you some value you can hit that heart down there in the corner that says thanks not asking anybody to do anything that you don't want to do but what you do is greatly appreciated Appreciate it. So you guys have a blessed day and I'll see y'all at the next car.